Hi there! Today's lesson is about stability of linear systems and Drew's Hurwitz stability criterion. Let's introduce some definitions. Let 1 be a linear system defined in the region Omega. Suppose there exists a unique solution of Cauchy problem for any initial conditions. Definition X star of t is called a stable solution of system 1 if the following conditions are satisfied. First, X star of t is defined on this region. Second, small delta perturbation of initial conditions leads to small perturbation of the solution of the problem 1. In case the second solution asymptotically tends to the original solution, then we call X star of t asymptotically stable solution. Here you see graphical interpretation of these two definitions. On the left side you see the solution of the perturbed problem. It is inside the epsilon tube of the original solution. So the solution is stable. On the right side you see that difference between two solutions tends to zero as t increases. So the solution is asymptotically stable. Let's look at the example. Problem 1. Given the first order Cauchy problem, we need to determine the stability of the system for each parameter k. Solution. The solution of Cauchy problem is the following. Let's consider three cases. First, k is negative. Then the absolute value of the difference between the original and perturbed solution tends to zero. So the solution is asymptotically stable. Second, k equals zero. In this case, the solution is a constant, so it is stable but not asymptotically stable. Third, k is positive. The absolute value of difference diverges, so the solution is unstable. Below you see the final results. Criteria for linear systems. Theorem. Consider the linear system 2 with the constant matrix A. Let lambda be eigenvalues of matrix A. So we have three results. First, the solution of the system 2 is asymptotically stable if and only if all eigenvalues have negative real parts. Second, the solution of 2 is stable if and only if each eigenvalue is less or equal to 0. In case it is equal to 0, then the algebraic multiplicity of lambda equals to its geometric multiplicity. Third, the solution of 2 is unstable if and only if the real part of sum lambda is greater than 0, or it is equal to 0 and geometric multiplicity is less than algebraic multiplicity of lambda. Problem 2. Determine whether the following system is stable. Solution. Matrix A is the following. Let's find the eigenvalues of A, so we can use this theorem. The characteristic polynomial is determinant of such matrix. It equals to this polynomial. Solving this equation, we get the eigenvalues of A, 5 and minus 1. Since 5 is greater than 0, the solution is unstable according to the third statement of the theorem. Ruth Hurwitz criterion tells us necessary and sufficient conditions for the linear system with constant matrix to be stable. Theorem. Let P be characteristic polynomial of A, matrix, matrix A. We define Hurwitz matrix H using the coefficients of characteristic polynomial according to these formulas. Then the system 2 is asymptotically stable if and only if all the leading principal minors of H are positive. Here is an example. Problem 3. Determine the values of K for which the following system is asymptotically stable. Solution. In this case, matrix A is 2 minus 7 for K. Let P is a characteristic polynomial. It is defined by this expression. Hurwitz matrix is determined in such a way. Leading principal minors of H are the following. According to Ruth Hurwitz criterion, they must be positive. Solving these two inequalities, we get the interval for K of asymptotic stability of the system from minus 14 to minus 2. 
Thank you for watching this lesson. If you have any questions, visit our website, contact us via email, Facebook or Twitter. Good luck!